President Cyril Ramaphosa has ordered the SANDF personnel to assist in the fight against illegal mining in the country. The operation is expected to cost taxpayers nearly half a billion rand. But earlier on, the security cluster briefed the media on progress made in fighting this crime. And ENC reporter Bafedile Murane is tracking the story for us. And joining me now to give us this update, Bafedile, very warm good morning to you. I suppose let's look back into what exactly the uh, security cluster ministers had to say in their efforts to fight illegal mining. Well, Dumelo, um, from their side, they are saying that the strides have been made up to so far. It's a number of thousands of people that have actually been arrested. Among others, they also highlighted some of the challenges in relation to crime there, Dumelo, crime relating to CITs, kidnapping, which also seems to be on the rise at this point in time. But they are saying that they are working very hard to give South Africans confidence to say that we are on this. And this is happening at the time when a lot of us are still asking ourselves question with regard to the transport um, uh, minister of transports incident on Monday morning to say that um, if something could happen to the minister like that, what do we say to us as ordinary South Africans? But when Minister Bekikele responded to that, he said that that is a clear indication that robberies or crime can happen to anyone in South Africa. But now coming back to the issue of illegal mining, we have seen it um, being very rife in areas of Gauteng, uh, Rivoli, it has been highlighted as one example to say that the police have been on the ground and trying to tackle and combat this matter. They've also been in areas like um, Clackstop in the northwest and also in areas in Bumalanga. But however, they are saying that thousands of people have been arrested and that is a clear reflection that progress has been made in tackling this. Let us listen to what the Minister um, of Defence, Tandimudisa, said to us earlier on, De Tumelo. The National in 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 Intervention Team deployed in Bomalanga to deal with illegal mining and ESCOM energy crisis resulted in the arrest of 67 illegal miners with mining equipment worth 180 million rands and coal worth 12 million that was seized. Among the, those who were arrested also are 63 South Africans, 63 South Africans, 2,739 foreign nationals from Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Lesotho, DRC, Nigeria, Kenya, Pakistan, and Uganda. These arrests indicate the multinational nature of illegal mining. And it must clearly be stated that anyone who comes into conflicts with the laws of the Republic of South Africa shall and must be dealt with harshly within the provisions of our justice system irrespective of whether that person is a citizen or a foreign national. We shall take no prisoners when our laws are being violated. We will not become diplomatic when our economy is being attacked through these acts. And hearing there from the minister saying that they will not be diplomatic when the economy is under attack. And bringing me to my next question, Bafedil, around the economic impact of illegal mining in this country and its cost, obviously, uh, to our fiscus, to our economy. Obviously, we know that there is a market for it, an illegal market for it, but definitely having a negative impact, therefore, on the economy. Certainly, it does cripple the economy there, and you've heard the minister, uh, Tandimudisa, having to say that they are definitely going to tackle this head on, and they are not apologetic. And they are saying that what is really worrying is that the majority of these people that have been arrested in uh, connection with illegal mining are foreign nationals. And they are, however, saying that at this point in time, they are trying to uh, be on bilateral talks with the head of states of uh, the various countries that have been mentioned, that include Nigeria, among others, and Lesotho, among others, Zimbabwe. They, and they are saying 
that this um, will never be allowed. And with over 3,000 uh, SANDF members that have been sent to augment the police capacity, they are saying that they believe um, they are definitely going to win this illegal mining. But um, they are not refuting to say that, although they have been on the ground, like in areas like um, Rivoli, if we could go to Rivoli right now, most definitely we're still going to find some of the operations there. But they are, however, saying that they need to map a better way forward, in particular now because SNDF is also being roped in, in to this particular strategy. So, Minister Ronald Lamola, uh, you know, from the justice uh, system saying that between April and August, uh, over 300 um, illegal minors uh, were convicted, whilst eight of them were acquitted. And they're saying that this is a clear reflection uh, on their side to say that they are working hand in hand uh, with all other relevant departments uh, that are in this uh, cluster to ensure that they deal decisively with the illegal mining, which is really a serious headache for South Africa. Let us listen to what Minister Ronald Lamola said earlier. With regards to the arrest in relation to illegal mining or some of this uh, organized crime, between <clears throat> April and August uh, 2023, a total of 329 accused were convicted of offenses related to illicit mining, whilst eight were acquitted. During the same period, we had um, 7,351 cases in which accused were convicted of contraventions of the Immigration Act, while 178 cases contained acquittals. As at November 2023, a total of 4,068 cases containing contraventions of the Immigration Act are outstanding on the criminal uh, court, uh, court role. We, the conviction rate with regards to this uh, type of crimes, including organized crime, is um, rising in the criminal justice system and in the court role. In the last um, financial year, 221 convictions were secured from 234 matters related to essential infrastructure convictions um, and um, this also shows the focus also of the NPA in regard to these matters that are of serious priority to, to the country and also to the criminal justice cluster. And that's where we leave it with ENCA's uh, Buffett Dile Thank you so much, colleague, for bringing us that update from the security cluster minister.